Hi, this is for Sagittarius. Sorry about the setup, I'm out of town right now and the glare. Well, let's just get on with it. So this is a non-traditional way to get therapy. Therapists focus on the past, life coaches focus on the future, and I'm just gonna help coach you into getting your messages from your higher self and guides right now, whatever comes through. So let's get it, let's go. Sagittarius. Eight of Wands, it's fast energy, traveling, adventure. This is going on in your life right now. Knight of Swords, um, a very established, um, again, on the go, fast energy, a mature, um, youthful energy, um, somebody that likes to have a lot of fun um, and cuts to the chase is really direct. Um, the hung man, so self-reflection, a new perspective is needed in your current situation. Ace of Swords. You're cutting through to the truth. Um, also, yeah, cutting to the chase of the truth for sure. Okay, so explore, um, balance. Again, um, changed in the night. You have changed quickly. Follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what is best for you. Curiouser and curiouser. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. Okay, I want to read this one to you. This is a new deck. Just to get a little more details of this one because it sounds very interesting. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. Curiouser and curiouser. Um, we can all be filled with curiosity and experience the desire to explore and discover. This is where you find yourself when this card is pulled. You might believe that it is taken. Um, I'm sorry, I lost where I was. You might, um, okay, you might believe what is taking place is weird or odd, and indeed it may be. You might be discovering things about yourself that you would once have thought impossible or even denied, but now you know you have so much within you that you are only just beginning to know all of who you are. When this takes place, just like Alice, we grow, of course, this does, this does not mean you will literally getting bigger, um, but you will be growing as a human. You are having new experiences and this creates an expansive um, sense of possibility. This can seem quite uncomfortable and again, strange, but it is also wonderful that you are growing in this way. So you may find yourself in weird places with new people amongst unfamiliar behaviors and you may be changing, growing, developing, and discovering. Do not fret at the discomfort. Try to stay with the wonder of the newness of um, all, newness all about you. Open up, reach out, extend yourself and grow. Divination, new and unfamiliar places and surroundings, a general lack of familiarity, a fascinating turn of events, growth amidst um, strange customs and people changing as a person. New interests and talents are being discovered. If it's reverse, which it's not, but it could um, relate to you, I'm gonna tell you anyway. A lack of interest in finding out about different places, cultures, or people. A desire to stick to the familiar. Believing you have grown enough and need not extend yourself any further. Becoming static, habitual, and ap um, apathic. Okay, so there you go. Curiouser, curiouser. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, and curiosity. I love it. I'm going to show it too. Okay. 
So then also we've got orange bellied parrot, parrot, radiance, expression, communication, acceleration. So fast energy. And then we've got fire, which you came out in your own reading, fire sign. Um, creation, destruction, beginning, and expression. It's, it's a very positive sign to see your energy in your, your reading because that means it's a very powerful reading for you. Okay, so numbers that we have here is um, seven, excuse me, 25, 11, twin flame number, 10, nine, 36, and 28. Okay, let's get your tarot cards. Colleen, Sagittarius, this higher self and guides, please give me 11 cards, please show me what I need. Oh. Okay, show me what we need to see. Show me what. Okay. Show me what we need to see. Show me what we need to okay. show me oh <laughs> that one went flying. Okay. You know what? I'm sorry. I need to do show me for central issues. More clarity for the central issues, please. More clarity for central. Okay. Show me for what can, is before you. Show me what is before Sagittarius, please. Show me what you need to see. Show me. Ooh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. is working like that there's like some glare I'm sorry show me what we need to it kind of looks cool show me what their self card for Sagittarius please needs to see <clears throat> nice show me what need to see too many show me what we need to see. Okay. Show me what we need to see. Show me what we need to see. Whoa. Too many. Show me what we need to see. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, Sag, here we go. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is um, the Wheel of Fortune is ups and downs of life. So you have experienced ups and downs in life and come full circle again, okay? Um, these are your central issues. We've got the sword surrender. So either you are ex trying to get all those swords from somebody, it's five of swords, and make someone else surrender or somebody else is trying to make you surrender right now. And I, I don't know. Um, 
It could be happening that way. Somebody is trying to make you surrender to them. Be it your parents, be it a boss, be it a lover. Somebody is trying to take all your swords away and make you surrender to not fighting with them or not, you know, causing conflict or whatever destructive thing you Sagittarius is like to do. <laughs> um, what's crossing the essential issues is three of coins finding fulfillment. So you're needing to find fulfillment in something. It's like a seamstress lady. She's like, see, she's like built like sewing a dress and she's like, she's in a shop of her own and she's like, just in her, in her like vibe, you know, she's just um, doing her own thing. She, you know, you need to find something that you're passionate about. That is what's crossing these issues here of people trying to make you surrender to them and their rules. Um, and we know you don't like authority, Sag. We know this. We know you like to test authority. So it's very important right now. You've experienced uh, ups and downs. You've come full circle. And now you're having some demands from somebody close to you. And it's you're in your head about it because it's a sword's energy. And it's something that you need to recognize so you can start finding your fulfillment. This is your central issue right now. Okay, moving on. Knight of Wands. My leg is going to sleep sitting in the unstyle. Okay, Knight of Wands is a secret from yourself. You want to travel. It's a secret you have from somebody or the universe or has from you or somebody has from you. You, I feel... It's you. You secretly want to travel. You secretly want to be free. You don't want to be tied down. You don't want to be tied down to a job or a relationship or whatever authority figure is challenging you here in your central issues secretly. You just want to travel and be free. You just want to be free to do whatever you want. This is a secret of yours that you're holding back from the world. Okay. We've got your past card is justice. So justice meaning balance, scales of justice, just, you know, balancing things out in your life. You had balance going on um, in your past. Um, moving on, I don't like talking about the past unless it's necessary. Okay, so moving on, we've got the star. You've got some healing that this is what can be achieved and you have healed um, or you are going to heal. And that's what the star represents. Also fame and fortune and you get it, girl or boy, you get it. Okay. Also the page of coins is what is before you. Curiosity on another level. It's you. It's like a really young, uh, childlike energy, or um, innocence, um, adventure. Um, Page of Coins represents uh, this one in particular is curiosity on another level. You're just like on another level right now. Um, uh, soon. This is um, this is a three month read. So this is like going into the second month, and we're moving on to the third month for the outcome. But your self card is 10 of cups. So around you right now, you're just so happy. It's a, it's a happy family with the child. I don't know if you can really see the lighting's bad, but um, they're looking at fireworks and it's so perfect because we're about to have fireworks, you know, the 4th of July, but um, it's a happy family card. This is your self card. You're, you're happy go lucky right now. You're in your, you're in your energy and your vibe of, being happy and content in all areas of life. That's your self card. That's how people view you. And then the world around you um, is people that uh, activities in motion. People, um, two people very close to you are very um, focused on projects right now and they're very active. Um, people around you are very active. They're really trying to create something. They're working on a couple things or there's two people um, working on some things and they're just constant action. Like 
activity is in motion, um, building something in their lives, people around you. Um, Ace of confident, uh, Ace of confidence, Ace of swords is confidence, clear confidence. Um, you know, um, cutting, uh, to the chase of things and to the truth. Um, but you're a very confident person. Um, your hopes and fears card is, um, lacking confidence and your hopes is that you will have full confidence to, um, you know, cut the bullshit out of your life and get clear on what you want. That's your hopes and fears. And then your outcome, this is what I said at the beginning, is the ultimate happiness card. It is the sun card. Either Leo, Sag, or um, Aries. Sagittarius or Aries energy. Um, and it's your outcome card. So your ultimate happiness, you're going to be having in three months. You're going to balance everything out. You're going to have everything that you could possibly want. That is your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed it. You know what? Hold on a second. I'm getting a message to pull a couple of these for you. So show me what Sag needs to see. Show me what Sag needs to see. We got the owl. Good advice from a wise person could help. Show me what to see. And we've got purse. Pay attention to your finances. Show me, let me pull a little bit more. Show me what Sag needs to see. Whoop. Show me what Sag needs to see. Seashore, family matters. Show me what. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. Nice, Sag. Again, I hope you enjoyed your reading. That is everything I have for you today. Please come back and also like, share, and subscribe to help support me on my channel. Thank you so much. I will be more consistent with uploading videos. And I thank you again for um, sharing this moment with me. Um, I send my love and light. Bye.